Hey sculptors, so I've been getting a lot of questions on my last video about armatures and how do you attach the leg rod to one of these armatures. And so first I thought I'd just go over really quick what I do to get this shape in the first place. I take a piece that's usually about 24 inches, you'll just need to measure your doll size and see what you want. This ends up making about an 11 inch doll or so. And what I do is I leave a space for the head that I will later cut and then I just twist for the neck and then I end up putting a piece for the arms and then you just pull one leg up and back down so you're just going to take that leg wire and push it up and back down and then I finish twisting down the middle this little sample one I'm doing is quite small, but it kind of gives you the idea of what I did to get that shape. So here's the smaller one, just to give you an idea of how we did that, and the bigger one. And so again, you just start with a wire, fold it in half, twist it down a little bit, put in your arm wire, and then you're going to take those leg wires and just flip it up and around and back down. So up and around, back down, and then you just twist them together and then spread out for the hips. And then I like to use this aluminum foil tape. Usually you can find a humongous roll of it in the vent and dryer and plumbing department, I guess, of your home store. But you can get it at makingfairies.com in smaller amounts. And what I like to do is use this. And I've just cut the side shorter and then I slide this rod up and then I'm going to just tape it in place. Now if you want you can use something like epoxy sculpt and that's a two-part epoxy that you can just blend together and it will turn hard as a rock. You can use that. But I found that this actually does the trick and it's very easy. It's also a good idea to use either the foil tape up here to secure the arms or you can use paper tape for that. Okay, so that's how you attach the rod. And then also at makingfairies.com you can find these brass tubes. I believe this is the 1 8 inch size and the 3 32nd inch size for the inner tube. You want it to be longer than the larger tube because this part is going to be embedded into a base. See this is exactly what I've done with my ice fairy. So she just has this rod that slides right on down into her base. And then it looks like she's just standing there. And one last thing, the best tool I have found for cutting these tubes, I sell them in 12 inch pieces and so that will usually get you at least two dolls. So they're really quite inexpensive. And this is just a little jewelry saw and I just use it to slice the tube and it makes a nice clean edge for it. So that's what that tool looks like too. All right, so there you go. Happy armature making because that is the first main step before you get to start putting clay on your doll and the fun begins.